Hillary Clinton has confirmed that a State Department officer was killed in an attack on the American consulate in Benghazi, Libya. The State Department issued a statement just moments ago. An eyewitness in Benghazi says the attack began with a radical Islamist group showing up to protest a web video they call anti-Muslim. It started out peacefully but soon escalated and as we said, one American is now reported dead. Foreign Affairs reporter Elise Labber joins us now. Elise, what more can you tell us? Um, Aisha, we were waiting for confirmation that the State Department has notified this gentleman's family. It was a Foreign Service officer. And um, basically in this statement, Secretary of State Clinton said that, you know, a lot of people have sought to justify this behavior, this attack on the embassy as a response to this uh, Internet material. But the U.S., you know, makes clear that it really deplores any uh, effort to denigrate religious beliefs of others. Aisha, there's still trying to secure the embassy, although there aren't necessarily militants at the gate or anything like that. A State Department official tell me they're still very uh, unsettled about what's going on and trying to secure the area. And right now, uh, the State Department is working with its embassies and its consulates around the world, specifically in the Middle East, to protect American personnel, American facilities. As we saw today, um, there was a vicious attack on the U.S. Embassy in Cairo. So a lot of jittery people at the State Department tonight, I should. Yeah, Elisa, I know details are only just coming out. We're only just getting this confirmation. But at this stage, do we have any idea as to where this uh, this individual was in the in the consulate, in the compound, and how he came to, to his death? Any details coming out? We don't. We do know that there were several gunned, uh, several armed gunmen that had breached the uh, the, con the consulate compound. It's a, it's a very small area, and there are not uh, a lot of U.S. personnel. And originally, uh, the uh, State Department and the embassy had received word from the Libyans uh, that this person was killed, and they didn't have independent confirmation. But now, uh, the U.S. obviously, in the death of an American citizen, wants to see that, you know, uh, for lack of a word, but see that body themselves, see the person before they have to give that news to the family. Um, so once they finally got that confirmation, they were able to confirm. But we don't really have details yet as to how um, this showman met his death. Yeah. All right. Well, Elise Labbard, I know you're staying on top of this story for us. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back.